when someone says Bali, what do you picture in your head? Perhaps endless and empty sandy beaches and beautiful palm trees growing along them, ocean waves and stunning sunsets, huge green rice paddies everywhere you go. And probably you're seeing yourself riding a motorbike and exploring small local roads among those rice fields. You're riding around, discovering astonishing Hindu temples and massive waterfalls in the jungles. Enjoying cheap and delicious local food and many other nice things. Some of them are really nice. This month I was exploring Java Island and didn't plan to visit Bali, as it is the most popular island in Southeast Asia and there are hordes of tourists everywhere and everyone is making same boring videos about Bali, showing the same beaches, restaurants and hotels, sandwiches with baby goat cheese and vanilla latte with almond milk. <laughs> However, Bali has an international airport and since it was the end of my Indonesia trip, I decided to take a ferry from Banyuwangi to Bali and spend the last days of my trip here, but away from the main tourist routes and popular tourist attractions, somewhere away from Denpasar city. I decided to try and find the authentic spirit and atmosphere of Bali, which people usually picture in their heads, and today's episode is my attempt to find and experience real Bali. Kerambitan, how much? How much? How much? 100? 100? Alright guys, we began this journey quite late because I feel terribly, terribly tired after our exploration of uh, Bromo Volcano. <laughs> Besides the trip from Bromo Volcano to Bali took quite a long time. Five hours on a train from Probolingo to Banyuwangi, if I'm pronouncing it right, then one hour on ferry from Banyuwangi to Bali and then four and a half hours on the very old bus without air conditioning to this area called Tabanan. Anyway, tomorrow we've got, a, we've got a full day, tomorrow full day of exploration. I will try to get up early. However, I don't want to waste this late afternoon and I'm ready to start exploring with my new little friend. And his name is Honda Vario 125cc, automatic transmission, of course. Can I park here? Yes. Because here is Ganesh. Yes. Uh, okay. JJ Kedai. JJ Kedai. JJ Kedai. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> 
All right. Hungry, hungry men. Hungry, hungry men. No, I, I do not speak English. Uh huh. No, I do not speak English, mommy. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, no speak English. Okay. Yes. I know speak English, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple juice, paket ayam bakar, chicken spring roll. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the reason why I came to this restaurant is pretty obvious. I wanted to try a real local Balinese food. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure, here. Away from tourist attractions, something real. Yeah, and besides, I've already ordered uh, food from here by delivery to my place because this restaurant is like it very close to my homestay. And it was one of the most amazing meals I tried on this trip to Indonesia. Thank you. So I decided to come and check out how does the restaurant look like. And it looks quite fantastic, I gotta say, because in fact, it's not even a restaurant. It's a home, it's house of this family. And it looks just mind blowing. It feels like you're in some fairy tale or in some temple, really like a, some movie scene or something like it. With these Balinese roofs, with these tiles, trees, birds, beautiful statues, looks quite amazing. And you can wander around while you're waiting for your food to be cooked. And they are cooking it in their own kitchen, which means it's gonna be homemade meal, homemade food, which is the most delicious, no matter what country you're in. If people cook your food in their own kitchen, it's always extremely tasty because they cook it with love. They cook it like for themselves. But this place is just majestic. This one is paquet ayam bakar, rice, grilled chicken, spicy sambal and thick soy sauce, and grilled eggplants, pineapple juice, and spring rolls with chicken inside. Let me try it. Mmm! Only vegetables inside and a little bit of chicken. They are not oily, they are crunchy and amazingly tasty when you eat it together with spicy sambal. Yeah, guys, drink pineapple juice and your girlfriend will tell thank you. Isn't it beautiful? I am bakar. Looks absolutely amazing. Smells absolutely amazing. Oh, what a delicious thing! A yam bakar and a piece of eggplant. We have arrived. <laughs> How much is the durian? Uh, one kilo forty-five. One kilo forty-five. Forty-five thousand. One kilo. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. This part is going to be a little bit noisy because we are very close to the main road. Okay, I'm ready to buy durian. <laughs> oh, you have a lot. Oh, hello. Wow, that's a lot of durian. Real Balinese durian. And this uh, 1 kilo 45,000, right? 1 kilo 45,000, which means 
uh, 45,000 rupiah, it's around 100 baht, maybe around 90 baht, which is cheap. Wow, but it looks really, really good. This one and this one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think this one, this one. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. How much is gonna be? One hundred twenty. Okay. Okay. Good. Open. I open. I open. Okay. You open. Maybe here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm ready to try it. No strong smell, however, it has smell durian. Mm, wow! Wow! Mm. Wow! This is really reminds me the most amazing durian I ever tried in my life. Palau durian from Reshuap Kirikan province in Thailand. But this one is really soft. It's not crunchy on the outside. It's really, really soft, really creamy. Mm. And yet it's, it doesn't have, it doesn't have strong smell. Sorry guys, we're next to the road, which is why you probably can't hear me. Wow, this is something really, really amazing. Mm. Just like ice cream, fantastic, and it's not that expensive. Okay, okay. Now I understand why people want to move to Bali. Probably because of, because of local durian. Amazingly tasty. I gotta take this seed together with me and grow it in my home. In Bangkok. <laughs> wow. Absolutely delicious. Mm. All right, please be my guest. Absolutely clean, spotlessly clean, absolutely quiet in the daytime and at nighttime. There are no motorbikes, no trucks, no crazy traffic jams and so on. There is food around, Wi-Fi is great, there is smart television with Netflix and YouTube. What else can I say? Did I say it is clean? <laughs> because in very popular tourist places, places like Bali, it is really hard to find something clean without paying 15 million Indonesian rupiah. The bed is comfortable. It is quiet. Yeah, <laughs> I keep saying quiet because this trip across Java was quite noisy. And I'm paying for this place 300,000 Indonesian rupees. Rupiah, which is around 700 Thai baht. And now let me show you something.
this is Bali everyone was talking about over these years. No tourists, no traffic jams, no hectic noise, only you, rice fields and the sunset, which is stunning by the way. They've got rooftop here in this homestay. So I can just sit and enjoy this stunning beauty. Magic wonder of Indonesia. You probably can see it on my face that we don't start this day early. <laughs> Sorry guys, comfortable bed and a little bit of headache. <laughs> However, I've got some news. Today we've got another motorbike. Uh, it is Honda Wario 150cc. It is stronger than a bike I rode yesterday, 25cc more. Because today we are going to the middle of Bali Island. Today we will be hunting for a nice waterfall. Hopefully without crowds of tourists. <laughs> Mission impossible in Bali, but we will try. Uh, but let's find something tasty first. Let's go. Matabak? Is it Matabak Pak D? Yeah. Are you closed or not? Uh, we are in the I too? Uh, oh, really? Uh, wanna... Matabak. Oh, Can? Okay. A uh, sweet. Which one sweet, sweet is, uh, is yes. you can you recommend? Sweet uh, durian or uh, Nutella? Durian, yeah, durian. durian yeah. Okay. yeah, thank you. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> this is the single portion uh, mataba with seafood. The gentleman is cooking the second one, the sweet one, but I think I'm not gonna make it right now. So I'll put it in the motorbike and eat it somewhere later. Oh, it's so crunchy. Oh, ho, ho. Mm. wow. Mm. Oh, absolutely amazing. Crunch dough with some chives. Oh, spring onion, I think it's chives. 
Mm, very delicious. And even more delicious when you're eating it together with chili. What's that? Bird's eye chili? <laughs> okay, okay. Hello. Yes, How much is Only one, one ticket and one motorbike? Twenty two. Twenty two, okay. Twenty thousand for the entrance and two thousand for parking for motorbike. And it's kind of budget-friendly option because majority of popular waterfalls around Bali, they charge you 50,000 uh, Indonesian rupiah for the entrance. And they are very, very popular. <laughs> That's the effect of heavy marketing of various vloggers, vloggers coming to Bali because obviously Bali is one of the most popular places in the world for vloggers <laughs> so many videos so many videos on the internet about Bali hello and here I am trying to do something different <laughs> all right let's see how stunning this waterfall is I could have made video like this and to make this illusion that there, is, that there is no one else around, that there are no other wizards and so that you will think, oh, Bali is a paradise. However, I don't want to make another fake video because obviously I'm not alone here. <laughs> this is the place for, for those Instagram 
Instagram tourists, for those who visit Bali, just because of a few pictures on black sand in front of the waterfall or in front of beautiful Hindu temple with million other people inside, but just make illusion that you are the only person here. However, no, you are never alone in Bali. But the waterfall looks amazing, of course. Obviously, it's very dangerous to go inside because such huge amount of water can just knock you down, just like my Tyson. But to make a picture and post it your, on your Instagram so that all your friends, so all, all your neighbors, all your followers would envy you and would realize how amazing your life is, that you are living the best of your life. <laughs> but in fact, you are never alone. And I gotta get out of here because my camera is too wet. Guys, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> I didn't make it to the beach to sunset on time, which is why I continue this video 24 hours later. The waterfall, visit waterfall was yesterday. Bali is a huge island and roads are pretty narrow. There are many trucks, many buses, many potholes, which is why road takes a lot of your time. <laughs> this is the reality if you are coming to Bali. Be ready to stuck in traffic jams, be ready to spend a lot of time on the road behind some truck or behind some bus. <laughs> and nevertheless, I brought you to another beautiful beach which has some resorts around. However, some people say, some local people say that this beach is like Bali 20 years ago, which sounds quite interesting to me. So I came here to check how does Bali look like 20 years ago and it really looks a little bit different. Check it out. This is it, paradise on earth. <laughs>
change off the street. Yeah, I'm cruising around slightly bold. Music blaring. I'm gonna keep driving till I stop caring. Absolutely amazing colors. Purple, orange sky. Ah, seven days in Bali. Yeah, guys, I didn't film uh, entire seven days. I mean, I tried, but uh, Bali is a very popular place, which is why to catch this vibe, this ambience, connection with nature, with the ocean, beautiful beach. It's not that easy as it seems, which is why I just didn't include quite many parts of this journey in this Bali video. I don't know, is it somehow different or is just another one of million same videos about Bali? You are the one to decide. Meanwhile, I gotta order some local food. <laughs> Can I order a gado gado? Gado gado? Yeah. One? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Gado gado, traditional Indonesian salad. And traditional Indonesian view. <laughs> good place to end this video and good place to end this series about Indonesia because this midnight, basically in four hours, uh, I have a flight to the next destination, to the next country but definitely Indonesia is the place where I would love to come back because there are so many places more to see and explore but not this time <clears throat> it's time for my next adventure for our next adventure across South Southeast Asia wow it's delicious so hit the like button Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next episode pretty soon. Somewhere else in Asia. Bye bye.